Hey there, and welcome back to another video. For today, I'm going to be showing you how to make very quick and simple, easy Y2K logos. For today's video, we're going to be using the website kittlekittle.com. As you can see, Kittle already has so many different options and features when it comes to their design templates. But for now, we're going to scroll up and choose the new project option and start from scratch with making our Y2K logos. So in the designer for Kittle, on the left hand side, we're going to add some text. Specifically, we're going to add a headline. And when choosing a headline, follow along if you wish to use the exact same font and style as the video you're seeing right now. As you can see, this text really is quite Y2K in the terms of its design and how it looks. Of course, you can definitely change the text color, change its border weight and everything, but to really make it Y2K, we're going to have to make it pop with some effects like shading. So go ahead and let's add some shading behind this text. And feel free to choose any color you want by the way. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be going with a black and red color scheme for this first Y2K logo that we are designing together. So go ahead and let's change the colors and let's resize this a bit to really make it pop and not, you know, make it so small that no one can even see it. If we really want to emphasize the Y2K effect, let's go back to effects and change the width into something that looks a bit more like this. Then of course, let's just make sure that we really nail down the colors and the color scheme that we want for this logo. As you can see, it's so easy to reposition this thing and resize it to whatever way we wish. And don't worry about remembering the exact number of the colors that we're using. It'll all be saved anyway in the photo editor itself. Now, let's add another text headline with the same effect as this one simply by right-clicking, copying, and pasting. Then simply double-click it to change the text so that, of course, we don't want it to look like drunk drunk. We want it to look like drunk dazed. Now we can put these two together and there we go, we already have the semblance of a Y2K logo right here. Now let's add some elements by choosing elements on the left hand side and let's add some Y2K elements. I'm kind of digging this hip hop effect. It really does bring me back to my childhood when literally all marketing material pretty much looked like this honestly. Of course, what's a Y2K logo without some tribalistic images and imagery as well, right? As you can see, it's so easy to reposition this and even change the position to set which is behind which and which is in front of which element. Now just keep following along and as you can see, we're just fine tuning the details to really make sure that this logo is as clean and professional looking as possible. Now let's select the whole thing and move it to a corner and zoom out our page since this is just the first of many different logos we'll be making for today. Now to make our second logo, let's follow the same steps we made when making our first one. Let's add a text box, choose a proper font style, and of course add some effects. This time, other than shading, we're also going to be adding some color grading decoration. As you can see, when you choose your color grading decoration, if you go back to settings, you can see the different colors for each part 
of the logo that we can change. I think one defining feature about Y2K logos is the amount of outlines that each of these logos have. For now, I'm really digging this neo-looking white and purple mm, color theme that we have going on. As usual, you can, you can really change this to any color you want, but I'm really sticking to this purple neo-looking theme. And as usual, if you wish to simply keep the kind of effects that you have with your text, feel free to copy and paste it and just double click it to change the text info inside. Yet again, let's go back to adding some elements and of course we're gonna add some Y2K elements. Cool feature when editing this design is that all document colors and all colors that you have used previously will be saved in the photo editor itself. Now let's just keep adding some Y2K elements until we're really happy with this very millennial looking design. This really does take me back to the 90s if I do say so myself. Remember, if you wish to make duplicates of any element on this design, simply click it, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to add more duplicates of that certain element. Alright, now we're really getting it on by making this such a custom design while still keeping the theme of Y2K. Now yet again, let's select everything and put it to the side right underneath the first logo that we're making. And as usual, let's add another headline to make our third Y2K logo. This time, we want the headline looking text setting. And let's make the font Y2K, why don't we? If the first one was red, the second one was purple, this time, let's go with a cybernetic looking Y2K logo with a color white and blue color theme. As usual, don't forget to add some shading and add some whatever effects you wish. We're really just implementing everything that we've talked about in the previous logos by copy pasting and just changing the font and adding elements with the Y2K function. As you can see, we can also change the location and position of all elements with a simple click of a button. You can move it to the front or back or specifically behind certain other elements. As you can see, all colors are neatly saved in the bottom of the color palette list, so everything can look exactly the same with the proper theme. Now the reason I'm using these boxes is to make sure that I just cover any white marks and make a seamless design from top to bottom. And there we go, we have our third Y2K logo, this time with a white and blue theme. Now let's put this as well to the side and my, finally make our fourth and final Y2K logo. Yet again, let's start by adding some text and adding a headline. This time, we're going with a similar font which we've already used before, but we're changing the color palette to something more of a pastel red and white. As you can see, don't forget to add your effects in order to really emphasize this Y2K feeling that we're getting with our logos. Changing the outline width really does drastically change its whole vibe, doesn't it? Now let's copy and paste this headline in order to make our cool off logo as so.
Once we're happy with the location and the font that we've chosen, let's of course add some more Y2K elements. As you can see, Kettle does have a large array of default elements that we can add, and the great part about this is that it's all free for use. In the end of the day, all of these changes and design decisions that we're making are all subjective, so you don't have to fully follow this to the T, and it's really more fun if you really let your imagination and creativity go wild. Just keep on adding elements which you seem to fit the Y2K theme of everything, and as you can see, Kettle really makes it so simple to have everything under the same theme and color palette. Remember, you can always right-click on any element in order to set its position behind or in front of other elements. Rotating is also a breeze by selecting the rotating icon around each element. Now, once we're happy with all these changes, and let me tell you, I'm quite impressed with myself with how I'm able to make all these Y2K logos from scratch in such a short amount of time. And of course, we're just adding these basic shapes in order to cover up some certain holes and clean up the logo as a whole. Now, once you're done with all of these logos, let's reposition them all on one page and see and admire the work that we've made in such a short amount of time. Wow, those are some really nice looking Y2K logos, aren't they? And there we go. Congratulations, you now know how to use Kettle in order to make some really nice professional looking Y2K logos for free. If you have any other questions with this design process, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like this video if you feel like you learned something new, and as usual, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. Thanks so much for coming with me along this design journey, and we'll see you all in the next one.